Apple Maps is finally getting some significant enhancements, improved trip planning, public transit, walking directions, accessibility features, and place details. The most significant change is multi-stop routing. This guide highlights all the new features in Maps for iOS 16. If you've been using a third-party app for navigation, it may be time to go take a look at the Apple Maps app. Thanks for joining me on Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you haven't subscribed to the channel or turned on that notification bell, go ahead and do that now so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. If you're new to Apple Maps, let's start from the beginning and just go ahead and launch the Apple Maps app. So I've come into the search area. I've searched for maps. I'm going to tap on maps in the upper left-hand corner. And when I do, it basically comes into uh, my home area to search for the map, to search the maps for a location that you want to see. And I've already searched. I want to go to the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. So if you tap in search and start typing in Liberty Bell, it should pop up. And once it does, you'll see... Uh, that I've recently looked at that because I was playing around earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and say Liberty Bell. And it tells me that it's going to take about five hours and two minutes to get there from my location. And that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. But as you can see, there is other information there. You can look at the website there. You can get tickets to the Liberty Bell. If you pull up on this gray bar right here, you'll even get more information. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and just tap on the directions where the car is located and says five hours and two minutes. And you'll see that from my location to, you know, we're going to go to the Liberty Bell. And it gives you... Uh, a few different ways to get there. But what's really cool about this new Apple Maps is, is that you can add another location to that. So we want to add a stop. So I'm going to tap on Add Stop. And this time, I'm going to look for the National Civil War Museum. And as you can see, I typed it in before, and it's there. But you could go ahead and type that in, and it will appear. I'm going to tap on that. And so now we have uh, two locations that I want to visit uh, on this map, but they're not in the correct order. So the National uh, Civil War Museum is in Harrisburg, PA, which is closer to me than the Liberty Bell. So as you can see on the right-hand side here, you see the hamburger icon. If I grab uh, the hamburger icon next to National Civil War Museum and pull it up, now I can put that in the correct order that I want it to be in, and uh, I'm going to make one stop before we get to the Liberty Bell. Getting directions has been streamlined to accommodate multi-stop routing, and it's now easier than ever to change between the different modes of transportation. So if I select drive and click on that little down arrow, I can choose between walking, transit, cycling, or ride share. I also have the option if I choose any of either of these drop down menus next to it, if I tap on one of them, I can put in the date and time that I want to leave at or arrive by. And the other option I have is I can choose to avoid tolls and avoid highways if I toggle those switches on. A few other things to note here. If I tap in the area where it says 5 hour and 21 minutes, if I tap in there, you'll be able to see the turn-by-turn -turn directions that you would follow to get there. So if you get two options when you're you know, setting this up, you could actually take a look at both of them and see which way is better for you to go using those turn-by-turn -turn directions. And then when you're ready and you have everything set up, you'll just go ahead, tap on Go, and uh, the Apple Maps app will guide you to your location. After you've completed your drive uh, and you come into the Maps app, you'll notice that there's a recent section, and so 
your most recent locations that you've driven to will probably be listed there. Above that, you'll see your favorite options and you know you can tap on more and you can see all of those options. If you tap on the plus sign, you can search for a location and add it to your favorites area. Below that, you have uh, guides that Apple provides. And if I tap on the guides area, you'll see that there's guides in North America, um, also, I believe, in London and in Australia. If I tap on the worldwide arrow, now you can see that. So these are the guides that are available in North America. And so if you're traveling to a city, this would be a great way to find out, you know, the fun things to do or the different places that you might want to visit. And you can take a look at those whenever necessary. If you travel using public transit, you can add your transit card to Apple Maps. So let me swipe out of that and show you how that's done. I'm going to pull down on the screen to access the search bar and I'm going to type in wallet. I'm going to open wallet and I am going to come into the area where I can add a card. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. And when I do, you'll see that there's an option available to tap in on a transit card if those are available in your city or area. When planning or viewing a transit route, you can see the transit fares in select cities. So as you can see, we're traveling from Menlo Park to Sunnyvale Station. Um, and if I pull up on the gray bar, you can see that these are the different departure times along with the cost of the transit fare and how you can pay for that transit fare. And if you have a transit fare card, you can pay for it directly inside of the Maps app. Siri can be very useful in helping us get to where we need to be. Here's how to get walking directions. What you wanna do is either hold on the home button or side button on your device, or if you have the toggle turned off on, you can say, hey Siri, Get me walking directions to MJ Automotive. Getting walking directions to MJ Auto Service Center. And Siri will find that location for you and give you walking directions to that location. Another thing you can do is upload photos uh, to Apple Maps and if you do, the Maps app has a toggle allowing companies to use the photos you upload using the built-in Maps rating feature. And this is relevant to companies that provide images to Maps, including location, but not identity. And to toggle this switch on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open the Settings app. And then we're going to tap on Maps. So we're going to locate maps, tap on maps, scroll to the very bottom, and you'll see there for photo use, allow photo providers to use your photos. You can choose to toggle that switch on or off if you want to. These may not be the revolutionary changes you were looking for, but these additions should make your navigation and trip planning much easier with iOS 16. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.